This tour is set up four cities in four days, no breaks, and it's free. I've just got some of my guys, kind of a smaller band, and um, we're just playing our faces off. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of new music, so a lot of people keep asking me about a new album, and uh, well, I can't give a new album right now, I can show you the music I've been writing. <laughs> excited about this tour is just to see what the reaction is going to be. figure out transitions between the song, trying to see if anybody's gonna be there, if people are gonna like it. It's easy when you're playing other people's songs because you know they're good songs because they're hits. But I'm playing a lot of my own um, music and so it's definitely making myself uh, vulnerable and we'll see how it goes. So, um, doors are about to open and there's some people out there waiting from Paris, Texas. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. They left at 8 a.m. this morning to get here. So, you know, even if it's just for them, the show's gonna be awesome. Clark in, in several different ways because of the consistency that he brings each day, day in and day out. He is the same Clark Beckham before Idol as he is after Idol. He's one of the, those people that when he believes in something, he goes all out. Gravity, it wants to bring me down. We had Abby Smith come in and sing. She's the girl that sang with me on Gravity on a YouTube video cover that, that I did with her. She is phenomenal and she I was so happy to, to do a show in her hometown and she was there. So I surprised everybody and everybody freaked out when she came out. Everybody lost their mind. found this new love that I have for the people that come. I mean, the people that aren't just American Idol fans, but are people that are actually coming to the show to, to see me. I mean, I'm used to playing on the street where people leave after three to five seconds if I'm lucky. Thank you so much. We're really done now. I love you all. I mean, with all my heart. Take care. Be good. Man, that was fun. I felt, I felt so good. The band sounded great, my stomach hurts. It's like when I get nervous and excited, it's like I flex and, and it just hurts afterwards. But that was fun, that was a lot of fun. Everybody was awesome. The band sounded great, the vibe was great. Had a blast, good first show.
use some of the, the same jokes then, and, and you guys won't know that it's uh, different. But anyway, I played the song on the tour, but uh, I think it's new to you guys. Anyway, it goes like this. So normally, when I play with a full band, we have, I have like a seven-piece band. We've got saxophone and two keyboard players and drummer and bass, guitar, and then myself play guitar and singers and all this stuff. But for this tour, it had to be a smaller band, and which I've never really done before much. Uh, but it's really worked out really well, especially because of the talent of the band. Neiman is, is one of the best sounding drummers. And he's also a lot of the nuts and bolts behind this tour. He's calling people and making stage plots and talking to the sound man, and he's a huge help. Austin Goodlow can play any instrument, and Jay can play any instrument. So they kind of just rotate wherever they're needed, and then I can play piano and I can play uh, guitar too. So I, we all kind of just rotate, and that makes that makes everything work. band I've got uh, for this tour is made up of just guys I met from being at Lee and uh, all, all guys from being at Lee University, which is college I went to. And we're the biggest idiots in the world. Like we just, on the van, like we're just, we're dumb. <laughs> So the goofing off is just like basically one of us will, will just get an idea and I think that's what's awesome about us. We just we get an idea and we all just run with it. Just stopped for lunch and uh, now we're headed the rest of the way to Greenville, get loaded in and uh, if you if you gonna if you keep doing that I'm gonna if smack that you in the face. Had a J face on it, that would be perfect. If I was wearing a black shirt and with white pants. Just <laughs> J's face. Just got done with lunch. We're headed to Greenville, South Carolina for the rest of the way. <laughs> and uh, and that's it, we're just loading in. Halfway done, I got two more shows left. What do you think, Jay, it's gonna be good? Dude, the show's about to be so horrible. Or <laughs> I've always said, and Clark says this too, you know, half of locking in, per se, on the stage, is, is not just being great musicians. It's communication. When we're on the stage, we're not, we're not talking, but we're still communicating. And that's how we communicate. We're goofy, we're funny, and that translates on the stage. But yeah, there are some pretty <laughs> goofy moments. Knowing that we can be any, exactly who we are and be dumb translates on the stage. Uh, when we're playing and we can be free, my band members can be free to be themselves and not worry about, oh, is, is this too much? Am I playing too much? Is this lick too much? Whatever. And it really fosters a great, natural, organic, good, groovy music sound. It's just a blast. Like, we look forward to getting on stage. It's not a job. It's not a, you know, not even a hobby. It's just like, this is our life. That's how we express ourselves. We had one rehearsal uh, before the tour, and then we just jumped on the tour. We got a city every single night, and by show three, two and three, we are locked in tighter and better. We'll add another hit, we'll add this, and it's just getting stronger and stronger in a more complete show. And usually I'll play an event here and play an event there, but there's something about a tour that you just get really locked in tight. And this is just four shows. If we were doing like a 38 city tour or something like that, or 20 to 50 or whatever, I can't imagine how tight we would be. We're the 
big band, like, you have to have your specific part because if you leave, it just sounds like a mess. But with a small band, it's like, you kind of have more freedom because there's more space. The more we play, every show we get better and better and better, and it's just four shows. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. <laughs> got done with Greenville. Really great show. It's a lot of fun. Everybody's vibing. I think the band got more popular than I did. The personalities really showed, which I really loved. Great energy. Everybody's screaming and freaking out. I loved it. I uh, had a long meet and greet, which I always enjoy. And now we're trying to get something to eat. And then tomorrow we got the last leg of the trip. We got Knoxville to end it, bring it home. We're gonna finish strong. It was a great night in Greenville. Knoxville is tonight, last show, and we've got a lot of people coming that are friends of ours. We've got a lot of musicians to play for, so it'll be interesting how we rise up to the level, you know, knowing that there are some great music guys in the house. I think it's going to be a perfect way to end the tour. I know the band is going to kill it. Um, I'm going to do my best to, you know, sing my face off in the best way. So It's gotten stronger each day. I mean, we were close before we even did the start of this tour, but the vibe, the vibe off stage is most important. And because then, when you bring it on stage, you're not faking it. You're not acting like your best friends. You really are best friends. So when they do something sick, you like want to kick their instrument over because it was just so insane. It's kind of like a family going out there, and you know, we all can like give each other a look and know what we're what we're wanting to do. We know kick patterns. We know when licks are gonna come, and it's just awesome to be able to do that without having to force it. The tour has been great. It's going to be sad leaving, leaving everybody and stuff, but it's been awesome. Each night has progressively gotten better and better and better. It has been a journey of a lot of laughs, but ultimately a lot of great music played. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap with the 4x4 tour. Turnout was awesome. The support was mind-blowing. Just about how many people really, really believe in me and in what we're doing. And um, it was just incredible. It's, it's something that I want to do, that I'm going to continue to do for the rest of my life. It's such a fun job. I can't, I'm so grateful that I get to do this for a living. And I'm definitely going to do it for the rest of my life, no doubt. And another one 
soon, as soon as I can make it happen. So stay tuned for the next one. You're in a movie, I'm watching the scene. But that don't seem to be as great. Girls confusing, how can it be? You showed up in my reality. But you never paid for dreams. That Phil, you've been doing on the fourth time. Yeah. On the second time, it's fine. You sure? Yeah. Solo. Favorite part right here, solo.